Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or anything else you may be, welcome to the Penguin Railway. I am your conductor on this great journey into comedy, and I hope you enjoy the show. And now, please give a big hand for Graham Smith. Hi everyone, I'm Graham Smith. My mate asked me why I got for Father's Day. I got a golf ball, I replied. A golf ball? That doesn't sound much of a present. Well, that's where you're wrong, I said. The golf ball's impossible to lose and even floats in the, if you hit water. Okay, I take it back. It sounds like a great present. No, nah, not really, I replied. Don't even play golf. Are you taking me out to the town tonight? Asked my wife. Yeah, sure, I replied. At least it's not on me for one. I said to my wife, I wish there was a little more magic in our marriage. What? You mean a little more a bit adventurous? She replied. No, like I'd like to see you do a vanishing act. I've got my wife eating out of the palm of my hand. It saves on the washing up. <laughs> my wife was nervous as she took the wheel for her first driving lesson. As she pulled out of the parking lot, the instructor said, Turn left here, and don't forget to let the people behind you know what you're doing. She turned to the student sitting in the back seat and announced, I'm going left. I come home from work today to find my wife crashed on a city. Evening, love, I said. How did your first driving lesson go then? The wife just told me the kids next door had died of malnutrition after being left home alone for weeks by their parents. Well, I checked on them, but they seemed all right. In fact, they were planning a holiday, I said. What? When was this? She asked. Last week. I knocked and asked through the letterbox, how are they doing? And one of them said, going hungry. I walked into the bedroom of a jar of honey. Ooh, are you going to smear it all over my naked body? asked my wife. That's a bit kinky, daft bint. I thought, I'm just going to use it as a bait to try and get rid of the wasp nest. My wife just told me that she's running away with Jim from next door. Get on her, that's the first time she's done any exercise in 20 years. I just got in from work, went upstairs and got changed and found my wife in bed of a medieval play actor. It meant nothing, she said, just a one night stand. That's all from me. Thank you and good night. Wasn't that great? And now, please give a big hand for Jason John. Good to see you. I'm Jason Johns. I only wanted Adobe to be able to open PDFs. I had no idea they wanted a relationship. They won't stop emailing me. <laughs> Eastman Kodak has filed for bankruptcy. I think they are being a little negative. <laughs> Rambo number 5 announced today. Stallone's character is looking for a little bit of Monica in his life. A little bit of Erica by his side. I've just read a book about a fan. It's a real page turner. I was accused of being an immature coward today. I know you are, but what am I? I whispered as I walked away. I hope to see you again soon. Wasn't that great? And now, please give a big hand for Jane Lee. Hey there, I'm Jane Lee. I've just sold my soul to the devil. He particularly wanted the Steve Wonder LP that I put on eBay. A 
It's scary that 50% of all marriages are now ending in divorce. But it's even scarier that the other 50% of marriages last forever. You know you are schizophrenic when you are your own doctor. What did the homeless man get for Christmas? Nothing. As me and my date walked through my front door, I said, I hope you're ready for a magical night, because you're sleeping on my carpet. My local Chinese takeaway has introduced a new system where you order what you like and the bill is debited from your bank account at regular intervals. It's called Pay Perpetuate. I wouldn't dream of being an insomniac. My career as a janitor has opened a lot of doors for me. How can you tell when the school kids are on holiday? Because this site is now on a six-week shutdown. I'm so hungry. I think it's starting to affect the way I bake in sandwich. I just wish everyone would get off my back. It makes running from the scene so much harder. Ever since those so-called Obamas have gotten, I keep reading about how they are going to be the next Kennedys. As far as I'm concerned, no one can replace Carl and Susan from Neighbors. What's the difference between a scouser father and his son? About 12 years. I don't know why the chef keeps fire blankets in the kitchen. Fires are hot enough as they are. I've just been on one of those 1830s holidays. It was ace. Everyone was wearing cravats and riding penny farthings. What would happen if I hired two private investigators to follow each other? A recent study has shown that 100% of people in favor of birth control have already been born. Wish I hadn't bought a house in Grimsby. Neighbors from Hull. How do you weigh citrus fruits? Lime scale. Your Honor, I think you're crazy. Sorry, that's just judgmental. Quasimodo was dancing in a nightclub with this really fit bird when suddenly she noticed a big bulge in his pocket. Quasi, you naughty boy. What's that bulge in your pocket? The girl purred. Oh, said Quasi. It's a picture of my dad. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. This is our final destination. All passengers must disembark here. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you come back soon. Please tell your friends to ride the Penguin Railway. We need you to make the Penguin Railway a success. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please click the subscribe button. And if your friends would like us, please click the share button. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And if you want to support us even more, please find links in the description to buy merchandise or make donations. An enormous thank you to everyone who's helped so far. We couldn't do this without you.